Welcome to your love tarot reading. Hi, Mikuchi Spickly Sky, Rem This is a luscious Escapio. Welcome to your love tarot reading, Abracadabra Baby. Tonight we're going to. Can you hear the. There's like cars honking at each other outside. I think it's just like crazy, crazy, crazy times. All right, tonight we're going to see what is going on between you and your prince and my baby. Whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage, alien from space. All right, <laughs> story of my love life. All right, skip you. Also, happy spooky season. Happy Halloween, my boo boo. Mm, let me know in the comments below if it is your birthday, for it is our time, our moment, our time to shine, skip you. Are you feeling in, um, empowered? Are you feeling like things are going your way? Because you should, baby. Because they will. And they are. All right, so let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is happening between Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and a person? This is your October going to November energy. And we are assuming some kind of a rift or separation between you and your person. Someone's trying to confuse you, Scorpio. <sighs> you know, your mommy, I mean, Scorpio, just like you. But, Bill, people do that to us all the time. Somebody sees you for who you truly are. This is interesting. They see you as the king of cups. King, queen, anyone between. Gender is arbitrary. But they see you as someone who truly knows how to love. They're like almost, you know, they're like, oh, skip you. You think you're holier than thou, but you don't think that. You never said that. You didn't, you know, make that a point. But this person feels inferior to you in terms of what they can give in terms of love. And it triggers them. They're like, Scorpio is holier than thou. Scorpio thinks they're an angel. No, you don't think that. You just are an angel, baby. And it triggers this person because this is a miser. This is a miser when it comes to feelings, when it comes to putting their money where, where their mouth is. Somebody, like, made all these promises, but then was very miserly about, like, how they handled out their affection. This person doesn't know how to love they wanted to learn it from you, but Bill. Scorpio often is karma for people. Scorpio is people's lessons. And like somebody met you and they almost like, it was like a therapy for you. Mm, sorry for them. But maybe for you too. But it was like a different kind of a therapy for the Scorpio. They wanted to learn how to be so scrumptious. Like energetically, spiritually. Because they don't know how. They don't know how to love. If it was an established connection, it was kind of like, this push and pull this entire time. And I think this person gas, gaslighted you a lot regarding like, mm, you're like vibing high. You're, you know, in this like high vibrational love energy. And this person was always like, well, come down to earth, Scorpio. Like, well, what about, you know, like, what about like reeling yourself in and not, you know what I mean? Not like vibing so high. Why can't you just be more down to earth? What about your nine to five? What about... Uh, paying your bills. What about this and that, you know? And I think this person is kind of like good with very material things, very base things. You could be dealing with a Taurus, another Scorpio too. Or just someone who's like very earthy. Hmm. The fool in the past. This person was playing you. They were trying to play you because you can't play a Scorpio, by the way. But like... They were trying to play you for a fool in some kind of a way because ultimately this is a difficult energy, Scorpio, because this is someone who does love you. They see you as the personification of love. The King of Cups is the personification of love. But at the same time, they wanted to destroy the thing that they loved. This theme has been coming up a little bit in the readings recently. And uh, I think I said in a different, maybe it was the Scorpio read, like an ex-boyfriend of mine actually said that to me once. It was like, I destroy the thing I love. And he kind of said it with glee. I don't know. It's not the recent one. It's a different one. Um, and it's like, what? <laughs> it's almost like, you know, like when people experience love and they experience like soul level love, then they go to this dark place of like almost trying to annihilate it because it's something that they're not used to, something they don't understand and something they almost fear. And I think that's what happened here. Um, this is also someone who's just never experienced love on a high vibrational level before. They could have Aquarius in their chart too. It could be like Venus or Mars in Aquarius. Also, my baby is Scorpio before we get into your persons as in <laughs> problems, all right? Mental illness. Uh, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. I love you. I see you. I appreciate you. Give your mommy a kiss. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Skippy, remember the sale is still on. It is the 31st of October. It's the last day of the sale. Everything is 50% off. All my normal pricing is in the description box below. This is for tarot coaching and magic spells. So if you want to order a service with me, now is a great time to do it. Book now to avoid disappointment. Also, I'm sorry, I'm laughing because it's like such, it's such a phrase. Also, Bill, you can book now and use that reading at a later time. On the 1st of November, my prices go back to normal. So, for example, if you're booking a reading uh, today and it's 60 minutes, that's $100. And um, that's the normal price. But if you're booking it today, it's going to be $50. Uh, and tomorrow, it's all going back to normal. All right. <laughs> I love you, my Scorpio. Between you, the Three of Cups, there is a celebration of a soul connection. So it's like this person was, this per, I really see this person trying to learn something from you. It's like this person has like money possession, some kind of a power like in the mundane world. They're very connected to the mundane world. And then they met the Scorpion, if it's a bimbo, himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, and they were like, oh, whoa, <laughs> teach me this other thing. Teach me the Scorpio way. Scorpio is the spirituality. Scorpio is mm, the love and um, the annihilation and, you know, all the, you know, beautiful little things uh, around the sacrifices uh, connected to love and spirituality. We are the mystery. We are the high priestess. So this person was like, teach me this. I don't know this. What is this? two of wands and you know what Scorpio you were like yeah but like why <laughs> why you question this person too much you're wondering why someone all of a sudden clamped up or maybe even ghosted you if it was a new connection it is because you were like well I don't know like my energy is valuable I'm valuable my time is valuable why are you not feeding me the figs from the tree but Bill peasant you know where is my grape from the vine and this person was like, what? <laughs> what is this? They've just never experienced anything like this. And I think to some extent, this person, this person could have been older than you or they could have had, had some kind of monetary power. There's a lot of monetary power in the readings today. So, you know, people exerting power like in the material world over love. This person tried to like exert some kind of power over you. Um, I think they thought that, you know, they would be coming into this, you would be the underdog. And you were not the underdog. And they were like, how is this possible? <laughs> how are you so magical and scriptious, my Scipio? If it was an established connection, but Bill, you had so many ambitions, so many plans and visions, and you still do. And you are actually actualizing them, right? Actually actualizing. You're actualizing them right now, but Bill. Good for you. And this person was like mad at you for it. They were like, no, that's a fool's journey. Someone was trying to hold you back. They were like, well, who do you think you are, Scipio? Mm-hmm. Don't do this. Why are you, you know, I don't know, pursuing this new career? Why are you um, pursuing your dreams? Why are you bettering yourself? Why, you know, why are you buying a new wig? <laughs> and they're like, you look better without makeup. You know, you know what I'm talking about, girls. You look better without makeup. So it's, you know, so it's easier for me to manipulate you and nug you. Um, and you're like, no, I think I look, I think I look scrumptious with and without makeup. So mm, F off. <laughs> It was a power struggle. Mm, someone could have left you before an engagement. A lot of these energies are coming up recently too. It's like someone changed their tactic or changed their mind seemingly before a big event. Like you're about to move in together, put a label on it, get engaged, get married. For some of you, it's like you already got married. It was time to have kids. This person like changed up on you. They saw you as competition. So sad. But this person doesn't have anything to fear. They should be supporting you because in some ways they are in fact like kind of like what they were trying to like convey to you. They have, this person has power and money or some kind of a power or some kind of a, a strength to them that, you know, all they needed to do was like support the scrumptiousness of the Scorpio and they didn't do that. In their intentions, <laughs> the Eight of Pentacles, they're working on it, but they're watching you with their third eye. They're watching you in some kind of a way. And they're trying to work out how to make the situation better for themselves and how to get back to that beautiful feeling of being in love. They miss their beautiful rose. You're like the rose to them, but The moon. <laughs> what to expect from them in the near future? Confusion, unscrumptiousness, spookiness, baby. Hmm. Whatever. You know, with the moon here, it's someone who's trying to like, you know, 
They're, they're laying low. They're trying to be like very um, uncommunicative. The Nine of Pentacles, you are single right now, Scorpio, so feel empowered to do whatever you, the F you want. <laughs> I mean, you know this anyway, because Scorpio, you know, you know how it is with Scorpio. Once we're done, we're really done. We give many, many chances, and then one day comes when the Scorpio just does the Scorpio thing. And it's not like mm, Scorpio uh, cross watcher. <laughs> Listen to your mommy. Also, these energies can't switch, no judgment. But, you know, when Scorpio is done, it's not like we're done, we hate you. Or we resent you, there's a feud, you're just deleted from the database. It's like you never existed. And like, it's just an, an innate feature of Scorpio, which it's inbuilt. <laughs> I can't even describe it. Scorpio, you understand it. Let me know in the comments below if you know what I'm talking about. It's like Scorpio gets over things like on a higher level than most people because that's, that's our whole karma is mm, rebirth and uh, the destruction of things. So it just comes natural. Like one day the Scorpio is just like totally like he did not exist. You're like air. And I think this person is going to like stretch it out long and long and long and long and long. For some of you, it could be until the end of the year. It could be into Pisces season next year. And you're just going to be like, really, boo Really? And one day you're just going to wake up and you're going to be over it, Scorpio. You may be over it already. This person is also afraid of showing themselves because they fear the rejection, because they feel like they did a foolish thing. Aquarius and Pisces season are very important to this connection though. So uh, stuff is gonna go down early in 2024, two of swords. Yeah, someone's trying to be mysterious. Someone's trying to almost like coax you into coming to them. It's like a power play. Don't give in to it, Scorpio. We've got a lot of other options. Eight of Cups. Walk away from the things that do not fulfill you. You know this already, baby. <sighs> this person is like in awe of you, but they're also very destructive because it's like, it's almost like, it's like the thing I don't understand, I want to destroy. This is their whole thing. Like, I don't understand it, so it cannot be good. Or it's like, you know, I need to put it down in some way. This person's trying to make you more like themselves. They're trying to take you down to a lower level. Do not allow that, baby. You have a whole other journey to walk towards. In the next month, you could be meeting a new love, the Ace of Cups. Even earlier, just like, you know, enjoy yourself. Enjoy Scorpio season. Scorpio season itself could be bringing you a new love with you. All right, this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story, my baby. Also, if you vibe with my channel, why not subscribe? Turn on the notification button and like this video. Leave me a little comment down below because it really helps me out with the algorithm with the AI overlords. Uh, I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay spiky, stay good, stay moisturized, and maybe enjoy.